Hi, I'm Gary, KB9AIT, and with my partner Terry, N9AOT, we are Wolf River Coils. When we're selling our antennas, I do get the question all the time, is how do you make a pigtail which connects to some of our antennas? In this case, you'll see that's the positive and that's the ground. And how do you make this pigtail to attach to our antenna? Well, let me show you what I do. What I do first is I purchase a three foot piece of coax with ends on it because I'd rather buy it with ends than put my own ends on it. So I just take this, put it in the middle and basically cut it in half with my handy dandy little cutters. And now I have two half pieces and I'm going to make the pigtail on this end. The first thing I got to do is strip off some of this coating. Now, I take off about this much, that's about two inches, and I just cut in here a little bit and go all the way around it until I come back to the beginning. And I'm careful not to cut into the braid too much. Then I just take this and I score a line in there. And don't cut yourself. Until I get just enough of that piece so I can stick my knife or a finger in there and start peeling that off. There we go. Then I just peel this off. Now. That's the beginning of it. Now, the next thing I do is I got to make this braid into a piece of wire. So I just take my fingers and I just start separating it. And, if, and this will take a bit, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just peel all these off. And I just keep going around the coax. And they separate pretty easy. And that was why I said be careful when you cut that piece off, that sheathing off, that you don't nick this wire. Because if you nick these wires, they'll break off. And you really want as many of them as you can get. And you can see it's starting to come out just as pieces of wire now. now I'm going to get this right down to the, as close to that black insulation, outer insulation as I can. And you can see I'm just about got it all. Now, as you can see, I'm right down to that insulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these wires and put them over this side and I'm just going to twist them together into a wire now. And this is going to be the ground side of your pigtail. Okay, then I'm going to get my handy dandy little tool here that I didn't get out. One of these little wire nippers and I'm just going to kind of cut off the, this little end right here. Make that kind of flat. Now, Next thing I'm going to do is take a piece off of this, and again, it's the same thing. Uh, for this, I just need enough to get this on there. So, as you can see, that's about this much. I'm going to cut about that much off here. And again, it just push the knife into you just touch the wire. You don't really want to nick the wire until you come all the way around. And I didn't get it all the way. And I just take myself one of these things and see if I can separate a little. There it goes. There. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin these two with some, with some solder. But I'm only going to tin this little piece here and this little piece here. The rest of this I'm going to leave untinned. And I'll show you that. Now I'm going to tin this is the hot side here. I'm just going to tin this. This makes it a little easier, I think, when you... Uh, start to solder. I'm going to tin this end only because I don't want it to unravel. Seeing it's copper, it doesn't take much to get a, some solder in there. And I just do the same thing right about here. See if I can get that to just to solidify a little bit. I just don't want it to unravel. You can see there's some solder there. I'm just trying to get that from unraveling. Okay. I'm cutting a piece of shrink tube here to the size that is actually going to fit on this braid. And I also have another piece of shrink tube for this. Okay. I got my center conductor and my ground. And I'm going to put some shrink tube over this. Like that. I'm going to take my connector. And I put that connector on there. I'm going to take my handy dandy little crimp tool and I'm going to crimp that on there. 
and then ultimately I will solder that. And I'll take this piece of shrink tube and put it on there. Put this one on here. I'm going to crimp that onto it. There. Now, I'm going to shrink these down with my handy dandy little shrink gun. You still okay? Yeah. Okay. Now you got shrink tube on there and that will protect it from some moisture. Okay, the shrink tube is on now. Uh, black is ground, red is for your center conductor. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to solder this now, solder this now, and put just a small piece of tape on here. So I will, uh, when I'm done with that, I'll let you see it. Okay, there I've soldered those two ends on. Put a little piece of tape on there and that's exactly like the one here. And you could just take that and put that on Whatever antenna would take these kind of connectors. There's some Yagi antennas that take this. All of our verticals take this. So, that's how you make a pigtail. And thanks for watching this video on how to make a pigtail for your antenna. Um, you can look on our website for all our fine products from Wolf River Coils. It's www.wolfrivercoilsllc.com or you can email us at wrcoils at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching this video, and again, I'm Gary, KB9AIT, and for my partner Terry, and 9AOT, 7-3s.